Piccadilly by Daisy Miller. I've always dreamed of seeing a little bit face to face of a since I watched BBC or a live documentary about them. I like the fact that they're so independent. The females are the boss. They hunt alone. They're stealthy and strong, and their markings are beautiful. So we on our way to the South Langa Valley in Zambia. There is one leopard for every kilometer, and you can do night drives there, which adds to chance of seeing them. I think the fact they are an external, hard to find, makes it more exciting. Info International Airport is the smallest I have ever seen. There is a tiny shop selling postcards, and that's it. We climb into a jeep, which takes us to Inquali. Trundling past smart huts and groups of children wearing school uniform or carrying farm tools, sometimes this. Finally, we arrive at the camp. Six huts and cafe piled round a tree. That night, we go out on a fast game drive with Jerky, our guide. Straight away, we're going across a plain full of embala and baboons. Now comes the big moment. We hear something on trees, and suddenly we are right in the middle of a lion hunt in the dark. We we'll listen to baboons and lion girls, and when Rocky switches on the light, we see two lionesses on either side, and one tearing off down in parlor. They miss a girl, but even so, my heart is thumping. The next morning, we got in the drive and it's Peppa being crossing the road. Suddenly, a truck appeared from a push and three elephants shot across right in front of us, including a baby. That's how it is in the drive, a new creature every time. We get giraffes, then a crocodile, then a pavlo. But my favorite excursion is working safari. We set off across the plane with an armed guard. Rocky tells us a golden rule. Never run, unless I say so. And if I say, get up a tree, get up that tree. The next morning, two other guys burst about having celebrities and head cup. We look at pictures and a digital camera. I'm really cross because I probably won't find another sighting for ages. And tonight is the last night here. But I'm still hopeful. This time, we are wrapped to Zebron. But after just a few minutes, our jeep gets stuck in the muddy trail. It takes ages to take us out, and my heart is sinking. Then it starts pouring. We sit in the dark and complain about the rain. And then suddenly, two impala hiding from the bushes. Moments later, Liberty sprints out behind us. We all sit in absolute silence and stare a stare at her. Liberty are much stronger than line, and she looks incredibly powerful. When she realizes being washed, she stalks back into the bush. It's really awesome. We soaked through, but I don't care about that. I'm just so happy I've seen a little bit. My dream has come true.